For nearly 40 years, the father of air conditioning, Dr. Willis H. Carrier, with his associates, has been making weather to suit every conceivable requirement. Single rooms, modest homes, buildings like Rockefeller Center, ocean liners on the seven seas, mile and a half deep gold mines, manufacturing plants, enclosures everywhere are today benefiting by weather made to order by carrier. Now, air in order to be healthful and comfortable must of course be clean. And that is the first step in carrier air conditioning. Science knows that canary birds are so susceptible to unhealthy air, impure air in such places as mines and trenches. Here on one side of this bird cage, we are creating a miniature dust storm. While on the other side, we see canaries that have been living happily and contentedly for six months in this very same air after it has been cleaned by passing through this filter. Doctors tell us that it is the dust, dirt, and pollen in the air that cause many of our illnesses, such as hay fever, pollen asthma, and many other ailments. Instead of traveling away from business and home to seek relief, you can obtain this same comfort right in your own home or office through air conditioning. A thimbleful of air contains as high as 750,000 tiny dirt particles. Every day, the average person breathes 32 pounds of air and consumes about three pounds of food and drinks six pounds of water. The government guarantees the quality of our food and water through constant inspection. Carrier can enhance the healthful quality of the air you breathe in your home, where you work, or in any public place. A day when the thermometer reads 70 degrees can be extremely uncomfortable if the air contains so much moisture that it gives you that muggy feeling. In the manufacturing and handling of countless products and materials, temperatures and excess moisture in the air have a very costly effect both in summer and winter. And that brings us to the second step in air conditioning, the control of humidity. Here within this huge tea kettle, several smaller ones are steaming merrily. Unless it is raining or foggy, moisture cannot be seen there. As the steam rises, it disappears. The water in the tea kettle is being transformed into vapor by heat. Now we'll show you one of the ways Carrier wrings water from the air by passing that air through a dehumidifying coil. The water vapor condenses on these cold coils through which a cooling liquid is being circulated just as moisture condenses on the outside of a pitcher of ice water in summer. A family of goldfish have been living in this tank. Every bit of water in this tank is extracted from the air that is passing over the dehumidifying coil. To illustrate how rapidly various products react to high humidity, notice these strips of cellophane in this chamber, into which we are sending air from the tea kettle after the air has passed over the dehumidifying coil. You can see how the cellophane hangs normally when the dry air comes into the testing chamber. Now we'll permit the air to go directly into the testing chamber without passing it over the dehumidifying coil. As the air enters, you can see how the humidity gradually curls the cellophane strips. Now we come to the third step in carrier air conditioning, the control of temperature. Did you ever think of yourself as a human furnace? This girl, by stepping into this sealed enclosure, makes a fuel of herself. The indicator over the door is operated by a highly sensitive mechanism inside the cabinet that measures the heat given off by her body. While you are sitting at ease, you are producing approximately as much heat as a 100-watt lamp. Think what this means, for instance, in terms of 12 or 16 people playing bridge. The same heat effect as burning 12 or 16 100-watt bulbs in that same room.
Think what this means in crowded offices, stores, and factories in addition to the heat of summer. Of course, when in action, people will produce a great deal more heat. Under exertion such as dancing, or bowling, people usually produce approximately four times as much heat. The temperature in a theater varies according to the kind of action taking place. An exciting program will actually cause a higher temperature in the theater, wholly because of the additional body heat given off into the air by the audience. The fourth and last step in air conditioning is the circulation of air. Because there is no circulation of air in this cabinet, the girl inside is rapidly becoming surrounded by an envelope of heat generated by her own body. The very same cooling effect that is taking place in the electric refrigerator in your own kitchen is in the same way taking place in the carrier refrigerating machines that supply conditioned air to department stores and industrial plants. In some of these installations, we create a cooling effect equal to melting 6,000 tons of ice every 24 hours. Here is a sample of Kerim, the liquid refrigerant we use for cooling in these huge centrifugal refrigerating machines. It's odorless, harmless, safe and efficient. As Kerim rapidly evaporates, it changes to a gas and absorbs heat from the man's hand, thus causing a cooling sensation. To realize this, Try wetting your finger and waving it in the air. The coolness you will feel is caused by the moisture evaporating from your dampened finger. This absorption of heat is a vitally important factor in mechanical refrigeration. This animated dial shows how a refrigerant is used. Operating much like a bicycle pump, this piston draws in the refrigerant as a gas under low pressure. The compressor is the pulsating heart of the refrigeration cycle. On the upward stroke, the piston compresses the cool gas. Because of the high pressure, the gas becomes quite hot. Here it cools off due to water or air at normal temperature, circulating around the outside of the coil. As it cools off, it condenses from a gas to a liquid, which passes into this receiver. From the receiver, the liquid refrigerant, still under pressure, is forced through this pipe to the expansion valve, which regulates the flow of the refrigerant into the cooling coil. Here, evaporation of the refrigerant takes place. It becomes a cool gas, ready to absorb the heat which is to be removed from the air. The refrigerant in this coil extracts the heat from the air which surrounds the coil or passes over its surface, thus cooling the air, and the heat thus extracted is absorbed by the refrigerant. Then, having performed its cooling function, it is drawn back to the compressor and goes through the entire cycle again. The whole operation requires less time than it takes to snap one's fingers. But not all compressors use a piston. Here Dr. Carrier is examining a centrifugal refrigerant compressor. This today is considered the world's standard of cooling equipment in large air conditioning installations and many industrial refrigeration processes. The popular conception of air conditioning is cooling for summer comfort. There is another phase, winter air conditioning, including heating, which in many sections is very important for a much longer part of each year. But winter air is very dry. It absorbs moisture from our bodies. No effect of air conditioning is more important to health and comfort than the maintaining of proper humidity through the cold winter months. Often in a room at 72 degrees, we feel cold. This is because of the lack of humidity in the air. The evaporation from the body chills you. Here is one method for providing winter air conditioning for single rooms or adjoining spaces. First, air is cleaned by being drawn through a filter. The filtered air then passes through this bank of coils, which are heated by water or steam. 
Now the air has been cleaned and warmed. And now here is one way of adding the proper amount of moisture to the air. It is the target spray. A stream of water is forced under high pressure against this metal disc. The water breaks up into tiny particles. Like a mist, the particles evaporate into the air, providing it with more humidity. The clean, heated, and properly humidified air is then gently circulated to every part of the home, office, store, or factory. Using this same system for summer air conditioning, the filtered air is drawn through these coils which now cool the air because the cooling fluid is being circulated through them. At the same time, these coils also remove excess moisture or humidity from the air. This air conditioner for a single room performs all the functions for summer comfort that you have seen in the preceding pictures. But a central system is used where it is desirable to locate all the air conditioning equipment in one place, such as a basement. Here you see the marvel of drying air by passing it through sprays of water, chilled by a refrigeration machine, before the cool water reaches these nozzles. Three changes take place. First, the air is cooled. Then the moisture in the air is condensed by these chill sprays and falls to the bottom like rain. Thirdly, the air is washed. Thus, in one operation, the air is cleaned, cooled, and dehumidified. In the wintertime, the temperature of the sprays is regulated so as to add the proper amount of moisture to the air, which is then passed over these heating coils and warmed. For the past 40 years, Dr. Carrier and his associates, through their research and invention, have manufactured weather so that every day is a good day. Important is the fact that many products and foods in daily use require accurate control of the four basic essentials of air conditioning. Cleanliness, control of humidity, control of temperature, and circulation. These would never have been commercially possible but for the discoveries and air conditioning developments of Dr. Carrier and his associates. These pioneers have brought to the world at large the benefits and comforts of year air conditioning, where people in 99 countries shop and enjoy entertainment.